Dear Jennifer, you know, one evening I was roaming freely along the shores of the Pacific when I met David. Remember him? That our primary school classmate who used to befriend you because of your lunchbox. Well, we all did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The one who succumbed to the campus Al Shabab attack. We all went to his bureau, remember? Exactly. Now, David was very surprised to see me in paradise with him. He found me as I was drawing the symbol of love on the, on the sand, the same way we did when we visited Watamu in Mombasa with you, my love. What innocent memories they were. I felt like jumping up and hugging him to show him how much I missed him, but I remember the social distancing rule and we had to wave at each other instead. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's no COVID in paradise. Well, so we pick up a few drinks and engage in some in a catch up session. Dear Jennifer, how does it feel? How does it feel to know that everyone thought our courtship was blossoming? You see, David here thinks that I should not be in paradise with you. He thinks that you and I were meant to be together. David thinks that you and I should be perhaps be raising a family of our own. Wait, is he echoing my sentiments? Should I tell him to stop because he's making my heart bleed again? Dear Jennifer, it pains me that I had to leave you alone. It pains me that I had to leave you behind, Jennifer. I'm stuck between resting in peace and returning if possible. And if I could, I could do the latter. But I'm afraid, Jennifer, that you could still serve the same old recipe if you had a second chance. And for that reason, Jennifer, for that reason, I'm going to stay in paradise. I promise to stay in paradise. And tr but trust me, trust me when I say this. I'm going to tell David of what became of our relationship. I'm going to tell him that trust became an issue between the two of us. Dear Jennifer, I'm going to tell David, I'm going to tell it all. Tell him that you made me so hard for me. I'm going to tell him that tell him that you stopped loving me immediately my job was swept away by COVID-19 dear Jennifer I'm going to tell it all and if has if he has some more time I'm going to tell him that you signed my ticket to paradise by refusing to by re but refusing to accept my marriage proposal, dear Jennifer. Dear Jennifer. <laughs> Your rejection of my marriage proposal is what inspired my suicide mission. <laughs> but meanwhile, paradise is fun. It is sad that I don't feel like having you here anymore and at least I have a friend by my side and by the way he said hi dear Jennifer goodbye my lover goodbye my friend you've been the one for me I'm so hollow baby I'm so hollow